Hello, welcome to this Get Blended video about Blender's interface. To kick things off, we'll just be taking a look around and getting used to the environment. So it may look a little daunting. Blender doesn't really try to hide settings away from you, which makes it fast to use when you know what's what. However, it might be a bit overwhelming to begin with. So it might be a bit boring just discussing the interface rather than actually making something. So I'll try and keep this short, but if I cover it now, it'll be more clear later on what I'm talking about when I mention buttons in the properties region or such and such. So it's a non-overlapping interface, which means for the most part there's no floating windows to fiddle around with which obscure your view. And it's pretty easy to get around once you get an idea of kind of where things are. The first thing to realize is that this whole screen is actually a set of smaller editors. So all editors have a header with buttons and menus on and the header despite its name can be at the top or the bottom of the window. We can right click and choose flip or press F5 to change that. Each editor's header also has a menu on the left hand side to select the editor type. Uh, as I say there are five such editors split into our main view in the beginning. So with that in mind, as an example, the outliner doesn't have to be an outliner, could be an image editor to contain an image for reference purposes or even a smaller 3D view. So the big editor in the middle, that is the 3D view, that will be where most of the action happens. And additionally, across the top, we have an info editor where you'll find the usual file menu and they're in the preferences. There's a little bit of information about the scene and some other options we'll take a look at on it in a bit. On the right, there are two editors. One is the outliner. It shows the objects in the scene and lets you do things like select and hide them. Uh, below that is the properties editor, which is organized with these buttons. The properties button starting on the left with sort of global properties and then moving towards the right, gradually getting kind of more granular from object properties to material properties, which belong to the object. Um, that's where you'd set the color of things, for example. On the bottom, the timeline, as we can make animations and edit video and stuff, this is used to play them back like you would any other video player, really. There's a few more controls. We can cover those kind of when we need them. Uh, in the 3D view and some other editors, there are one or two regions which appear at the left and right hand side. One typically contains tools and that's operated with the T key and the other various properties. It's the properties region that that's operated with the N key. The view menu has a reminder of those hotkeys and uh, an, an entry there to show and hide them as well. But one of the things you'll want to know how to do is to split and combine editors. Uh, that can be done if we grab the splitters in the top right or bottom left of an editor and pull to the left, for example, the view will split in that direction. Or by finding a border edge, right clicking and choosing a split area. To recombine, again, we can use the menu, right click and then choose this time uh, join area and we get a choice indicated by the arrow which direction to merge into or grab the splitter nearest to the window we want to merge with, grab hold and pull into the uh, joining window. In order to join in the opposite direction, keep the mouse held down and pull back across into the adjacent editor. It's worth noting that the editor borders need to line up. So for example, if we split the 3D view across into two, we couldn't then remove the timeline in just one step. What we need to do is split the timeline across and line up the borders and then merge each 3D view uh, down. So a little exercise would be starting from a completely blank, full screen, 3D view and recreating the default layout from scratch in order to get used to how this works. So yeah, I've just switched over to a bit of a live session here. Uh, the first thing I'd like to draw your attention to is in the info editor, there is this drop down. And in this drop down are various different layouts. So depending on the task at hand, you may choose from a different set of editors uh, to tackle that particular task. For example, if we were doing some video editing, we may choose the video editing layout. 
I don't want to talk about these editors specifically right now, but suffice to say that's where layouts are. And if you want to switch layouts quickly, you can hold down the control key and use the left and right arrows to change those. You can create your own layouts. So for example, if I press the plus button here, I get a new copy of the default layout. I can call it whatever I want. And then I can go about adjusting the layout to suit um, my particular task. That becomes then available in this drop down and you can choose it uh, like that. One particular layout I'm interested in at the moment is the 3D view full layout. So let's just switch over to that. And you can see things look a little bit different, but what I want to try and do is recreate the default layout sort of uh, from scratch here. So in fact, what I'm going to do is just push the uh, 3D view up into the info editor so that we've got a completely blank screen here. So this is a 3D view, but its header is missing. And what you want to keep an eye out for is these little tabs. Now these little tabs can be pressed and in this case it will reveal the header. So headers can be kind of squished down and revealed with these little tabs. You may notice also at the right and left hand sides of the screen uh, are little tabs to reveal and hide the properties and tool regions and they can be sort of squished in as well if you, uh, if you choose to do it that way. So yeah, I just closed it a moment ago, but across the top used to be an info editor. So let's drag this echelons down. And let's change this new editor then into the info editor. Now you notice some text up here. Um, it's not necessary to really understand this right now, but what, what it is is previously performed commands that you might use if you were so inclined to do some scripting or something like that. It could be useful to find out kind of like what's going on. We don't need to worry about it right now, so let's just push the info editor up. Um, you can see that that's a, that's a sort of subset of the info editor there. The, uh, they're called reports, in fact. Uh, I just want to adjust the 3D view here because at the moment we can't see the grid or the other objects. You know, where have they gone? Uh, well, it's, it's due to a property in the properties region. In the display panel down here, we've got this only render checkbox ticked. So again, don't need to really worry about this too much. Suffice to say, that's why those objects were hidden because of that particular checkbox. So let's just close this across now. On the right hand side, there used to be a couple of editors. One of them was the properties editor. So we're going to need a couple of editors here. So let's split this across to the left and change this editor into the properties editor. Above that used to be an outliner, so we're going to have to squish this one down. Let's grab those echelons and pull down. And we'll change this then into the outliner. The outliner's header, at the moment it's at the bottom. Uh, by default, it's at the top. So let's hover over the header and press F5 to flip that to the top and just rearrange these a little bit. Across the bottom used to be a timeline. So let's pull these echelons in the bottom left corner. We'll pull them up and change this into the timeline. Let's squish this down. And on the left, by default, I think the 3D view has its tool region uh, there. So we'll press T and we can reveal that. And we're back to our default layout. So that's uh, that's editors. That's how to adjust them. That's how to that's layouts, and that's the basics of the user interface.